Welcome everyone. How's everyone doing on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunny day? I hope everybody's outside enjoying the day. Um, I wasn't really going to make a video today. Usually, um, those of you that know me, I make videos on bad weather and <laughs> not nice weather. But I said, you know what? I'm feeling like I'm in a good mood. Let me just um, make a video um, plus, I'm excited. Ramadan's coming. It's about, what, 14, 15 days and subhanAllah, two weeks away. And we're just so excited, getting ready, preparing. This is our month. This is our time of reflection, rejuvenation. It is such, it's such, such an exciting time. I want to make a connection because before I was Muslim, um, I was Christian, for those of you that didn't know. And... <coughs> Excuse me. Right before thank, uh, right before December, right after Thanksgiving, um, the whole family's excited. Um, we usually get the tree. Um, I was the one that was in charge of decorating, if you could believe that. Um, it it was a it was a cheerful time. It was an exciting time because we got together with family. Um. We decorated the house. Everybody was nicer to each other. <laughs> so, alhamdulillah, I mean, that's really what it's about. You know, those of you that have family traditions that you celebrate with your family, the the real, the real main point of it, you know, putting religious, religion aside from it, the whole point of it is really spending time with your family, showing gratitude for your family, um, just feeling blessed for the things that you do have, you know, and also being mindful of those that don't have as much as you that are less fortunate. Subhanallah. So for Ramadan, inshallah, this year my dua is really for the people of Palestine, my brothers and sisters in Palestine, in the Sudan, in the Congo. May uh, their oppressors. Um, you know, get what they get, get what's coming to them. That's all I could say without, you know, saying it, you know, I, I want to keep this in a positive way. Um, really just to bless those that are less fortunate than us. And for us as a community, as a Uma to come together and really be able to help in any way that we can, we're not going to stop talking about Gaza. We're not going to stop talking about our brothers and sisters in Sudan and the Congo. We are going to do whatever we need to do. Um, if we got to keep boycotting stuff, we boycotting. Um, we want to keep talking about a ceasefire. We need to keep doing that. Um, we need to have events of discussions around mental health and how are we helping those that are here and those that have family in Gaza as well. How do we help support them? How can we be here for them? Those in need. And during the month of Ramadan, it's such a special time for us because this is the time when everything that we have done, everything that we have taken for granted, this is our time to rejuvenate, to reflect, to think about those things and be grateful and be thankful and start doing things to get closer to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator. This is the main focus of Ramadan. Getting closer to our creator. Reading more Quran. Doing more good deeds. Helping those in need. This is the time, people. So, let's take full advantage of it. Um, I have actually a, a Ramadan planner, a tracker, that I actually just printed out. I got from um, a company called... Um, uh, God, what was the name of it? Ilmquest, I believe is the, the name of the company. Um, but basically what they do is they have different um, things about Ramadan. They have different things about Islam. 
different ways that you can show gratitude and i just picked it up because i really want to be able to track um to really really just be able to track my devotion my dedication um my prayer my time um giving sadaqah and just being really reflective during this time inshallah so I really, I was just rambling on. Um, I really didn't have anything planned to say, but I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm pre-planning um, the things that I'm doing and getting myself on track so that I can be ready for Ramadan. And so I hope everyone else is excited too. Inshallah, inshallah. And write down in the comments, what are some things that you're doing to prepare yourself for Ramadan, to get yourself ready for this blessed month, inshallah. So with that said, have a blessed day, everyone. Enjoy your time with your family. Get those errands in, whatever you need to do. Go shopping. Um, and just be grateful and thankful for this blessed month that we are about to enter, inshallah, together. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks for watching our video. Please subscribe, like, and share at Muslim Peer Services. Assalamu alaikum.